Hi, welcome to Max 8 tutorial number 9, Graphic Components. Essentially, we're going to make our little user interface, our timer, a little fancier. Now, I know you've seen this enough, um, but let's um, add some things to this to make it a more functional interface. And the first thing we are definitely going to do here is make this thing um, have its toolbars. So um, any way you want to do it, you can expand it, uh, unlock it, and hit Command or Control I to get the inspector. Make sure you've got the patcher inspector here. By if you click on that when it lights up, it's the patcher inspector. And then scroll down until you see the view, and let's get those horizontal scroll bar, the toolbar, and the vertical scroll bar back, and with that, we should be able to, um, we should be able to click over here, say save, close the whole thing, reopen it, what? Oh, I just, <laughs> just reopened the title window, I reopened the wrong one, get out of here. Um, uh, reopen the, what was it? Oh, it was presentation mode two. That's what it was called. So now you see it's got the title bars in their back. So let's get this thing up here, make it nice and big so we can work on it, unlock it, and let's um, take it out of presentation mode. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so we have a little more room to move around here. So um, and we will need the inspector, so I don't want to get too carried away there. Okay, so one of the things that can make the graphic user interface more nice is if there's different sections that are colored slightly different, and one of them's called the panel. So let's um, experiment with one really quick here, and uh, we'll just type the letter N and type panel. And there's our panel. Now we'll get to using that in a minute, but um, let's do another thing, which is make a new uh, color swatch set here. And we're going to option, I, I selected the two of them and I option clicked on them. So now we have three, and this says Prepend text color. Um, I believe on the panel, though we will find out momentarily, let's click on it and then open the inspector, that um, the interior color is also called background fill color, just like it is over here. The only thing is that we want a different background fill color for the panel than we do for these messages or we won't be able to see the messages. So we're going to say uh, BG fill color. And then we can connect this to the panel. I like to get those things straight. Um, for those of you who watch sporadically or who have forgotten the other thing to do to get these nice patch cords is to go up here and click on options and say, I want segmented patch cords. You don't need to swear. Just check that box and you will have them. So now when we lock our patcher, A, it turns orange, but um, B, now we can make this box any nice matching color we want. And even um, more nicely, if we, I'm going to unlock the patcher real quickly, we could have, uh, if we connect the swatch to the preset, we'll be able to match our colors here to any other colors that we might want to use in, oh, let's call it our theme. But now I'm going to make a change. You may remember in the last video, I changed the background color, let's lock our patchers, to orange. Um, 
I am going to go change that back in the inspector. There's the patcher inspector up there, and I'm just going to change it back to uh, white. And let's just leave it at that. Now I'll just come over here and make sure it's true. Okay. It's somewhat difficult, in the case of this timer anyway, to work with orange as a theme color. And it's it's not tricky to change the background color, but it's tricky to do it while you have things that you want to disappear when it's locked, and then orange only shows up when it's locked. Do you follow what I'm saying? When we lock the pad, excuse me, when we put this thing in um, this mode, we won't be able to change the colors, and we don't get to see it. We don't get to see the uh, the um, orange background, uh, excuse me, the swatches at the same time as the orange background, and it just gets confusing. So what we're going to do is make our themes out of panels, right? So here's one panel, and we can move it. Um, oh, we don't need to move it. We'll just uh, duplicate it and make another panel. And we'll say, well, let's just say this one is going to run off that one for the moment. Okay, so now when we lock our patchers, um, whatever this one has as a storage for this, it's turning it red. So let's come up with one for this one that kind of accompanies red, right? So it could be a, a lighter shade of red, okay? And then we come over here and we say shift click, and then we have a one. Now we go to two, it's yellow, Let's, uh, you know, try something that fits in with yellow. I don't want to be too designerly here or waste too much time. I, I don't think I could be designerly if I tried, but uh, um, I think we had a pink and blue theme going here, so let's just try it. You can really bring bring your moods out here. So there's three. Now I'm going to go to four. Oh, four for some weird reason, stays the same. Uh, I think I accidentally erased it on the last time through. So we'll make this one uh, a dark color like that, and we'll make this one a uh, about a nice sky blue or something like that. And we'll shift click on that. Did I get it? And then we'll go to the next one. This one turns dark blue. This one can be um, black. Hey, come on. What are you doing? There we go, like that. So that's another different theme. And did we have another? We do a purple. And we'll... Woo! Sure, we like that kind of complementary scheme there. Did I already do that? Well, let's just go with it. Yellow. There we go. So, whether these remind you of 10 seconds... 30 seconds, perfect cup of tea, soft boiled, soft boiled egg, come on, that's not soft boiled egg, here's soft boiled egg, uh, white, and yellow, well, kind of orangey, right, there, there's soft boiled egg, I'm going to save that one, because it reminds me of soft boiled egg, Okay, and what's the what's the other one here? Um, hard hard boiled egg. <laughs> uh, aren't they? Don't they get kind of greenish at the uh, greenish yellow, but dark? Yeah, there we go. You you boiled that egg too much, and the white got all pink, like that. There, there's a hard boiled egg. I know it's not exact. There we go. Okay, so now we've got something for everything. 10, 30, soft boiled egg, and hard boiled egg. So how can we then um, make this into a graphic user interface? We unlock this patcher, we select these two things, and we include them in the background. Uh, excuse me, include them in the presentation so that when we get the presentation, they'll be there. And now let's go ahead and um, go to presentation mode. So let's say 
if this is hard boiled egg, this would be, whoops, still have them both selected. This would be the, I see the problem. Um, for reasons that I'll explain in a minute, I'm going to do this one first. And like, I just, I just wanted this to be kind of like a, a window around this part, right? And, uh, there we go. And then this to be the whole color of the, the application there. There we go. Now, if we send this one to the back, arrange, send to back, then we get our things there in the right order. Okay. So let's uh, lock it and see how, see how it looks here. 10, 30, perfect cup of tea, and soft boiled egg, and hard boiled egg. Um, so those are great. Um, we can take it further though because, you know, this thing that's always counting here um, doesn't need to have this outside color, right? So we could just get rid of it. And one way to do that is to make it completely transparent. There we go. So that'll be nice. And then what it's blink color. Let's, um, the blink color we could change, right? And all we have to do is put blink color ahead of something. So let's, um, let's get out of presentation mode. Where is that blinky thing? That blinking thing. Um, <laughs> oh, there it is. Um, so if this thing had a prepend blink color, um, let's just say it would end up being the same as this one. So we can click on this, option click it, and say prepend. I'm going to be extra lazy and just change the thing I need to, which is BG fill. I'm going to say blink. And so now whatever this color is, it's going to go to the blink color of this. And what's the other color on these things? These, um, oh, they have an outline color. And let's make the outline color of this always match a text color. So we'll um, come over here and duplicate that one, put a patch cord to it. Uh, I'm putting a patch cord over here, but we're not quite ready to it for it yet. And then we have to just say that this is not, um, that this is going to be the outline color. So we want to prepend this. Outline color. There we go. And uh, let's just um, put it back in presentation mode and try those things again and see if we get a whoops, it's still unlocked. There we go. So now you can see that this is changing color. And if we start it, um, it's, it's blinking at a similar, in a sim similar color. I'm going to try a soft boiled egg and hit start again. Oh, that's so cute. Anyway, you get the idea. You could do this, um, on and on and on and on and on here. So, um, I guess I'm just going to let it, uh, I guess I'll go to 10 seconds here and maybe it'll stop or maybe it'll, there we go. It's great looking. Oh, we need another color for that too. You know, I'm going to leave that one to you. Um, there it is. Blue. How boring. Um, take yourself out of presentation mode and go add something 
to whoops something to the LED the on color the off color what are you gonna do um, you know um, you could add a whole nother swatch and have a, a bunch of different options there um, I wanted to also say that when you do finally reach this and the LED turns on you could also have it say something and that would be relatively easy to do I think because you have a bang here and all you need is a message to bang out to something like a message so let's imagine that when this thing goes bang it's gonna bang on a message so I'm gonna type in an M here <laughs> I have no idea why it's red. Um, oh, be, <laughs> um, let's just go with it. Um, and the message is going to be um, this is going to be the answer to or the output from our message, and we're going to make it the same as this uh, ten seconds in color. So I'm going to connect whatever's connected to this 10 seconds. I'm going to connect to this one. And now I all, all I have to do is change the message that comes out to this. And one way I could do that is by having this U menu operate another U menu. So let's option click on this and put it over here and then we'll just drive this one with that one but we're gonna go first off we don't want this one to appear in the presentation so click on it and unclick it from the presentation and then we're going to go in here and change the menu so um, here we are come all the way down to items and say edit so our first timer is 10 seconds. Um, you could put in, that was quick. You could, after the 30 seconds, you could say, uh, uh, <laughs> good cardiovascular or good cardio. Let's keep it simple. Perfect cup of tea. It could say mmm delicious. Now you can't put a comma in there I think unless you put a, a um, quotation marks. Let's try it. This is an exploratory class after all, right? So we're gonna put quotation marks around it and then we're gonna put mm, comma delicious and see if that comes up in one line I don't know if it will or not soft-boiled egg we'll just say egg is ready and hard-boiled egg we'll say <laughs> egg was ready <laughs> okay and we're gonna say okay and let's see let's see if this works. I'm going to lock it. Come on. I'm going to lock it and say that was quick, good cardio. Look, mm, delicious. Egg is ready. Egg was ready. Oh, there is one more thing that we need and that is the... I haven't figured out how to do it yet. I'll, I'll think of it. I'll figure it out. We have to have nothing at some point, but that's it's all fine. So whenever we choose 10 seconds whenever we choose 10 seconds we're going to get that was quick whenever we choose 30 seconds good i good cardio perfect cup of tea mm, delicious okay so now we have a tricky part to do though when we get mm, delicious coming down here we don't want it to go right into this message box we only want it to go in there once this has been once this bang has gone off. So we need an intermediate message box. So I'm going to make a... I don't know why they keep coming out red, but okay. 
an intermediate message box that is going to get the bang delivered to it, and mmm delicious is going to get the words delivered to it, and then when this thing goes bang, this is going to deliver this message to this box. So let's imagine that we get a 10 seconds there. Whoop! <laughs> Uh, that was quick, and then that was quick gets triggered by this bang. Boink. That was quick. See, it's bigger. Bigger text. It's working great. Okay. I think it's working. Our only trick is going to be figuring out how to erase it. I'm going to stretch this out so that it doesn't keep getting in the way. And this one also. Okay. But now, when we hit reset... We want to send this, let's see, once we hit reset, zero, I'm just trying to make sure that uh, we don't trigger reset, where the heck is reset? It's all the way up there. Does it get triggered by this? No, it doesn't. Uh, but this zero, uh, does it gets triggered by, the, uh, okay, so that triggers that and then I'd say when we hit start we want to erase this message and I think if you send the word set to one of these or maybe even delete that will do it so we'll make another message let's try it out set and I'm just going to connect it and see if it works here Hard to delete stuff. There we go, set. So, all we need is when you hit start, or one, it doesn't matter, because it's going to hit both. It's just going to trigger set, and that will delete it. Fantastic. We click on this, uh, go over to the inspector here, make sure it is included in the inspection, in the presentation. It is. Oh my god, this is so exciting. So, let's put it in presentation mode. There it is. Um, being very good, and uh, let's go ahead and try our, whoops, we haven't locked it yet, let's try our various colors. Look, see, it just turns right into the right color. It's so nice. But uh, we don't want to wait around for a perfect cup of tea. That's three minutes. We're very, so start. And boom, 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 ten seconds later. That was quick. Yay, see, it's done. And this thing, which I bet you can change the color on, is right here. Well, that concludes my fabulous tutorial to help you on your next assignment, which will be in Blackboard if you're in my class. Otherwise, you can just make these uh, applications to your heart's content. I'm going to save this. Um, oh, we do have to do one other thing. And that is close that, move this up here, and this is just a reminder for some people, whoops, that what we want is to define the initial, define fixed initial window location over again, and we could go back sorry, and remove those toolbars and things to make this pretty. Where are they? There they are. Click, click, click. All right. Save, close it, open it again. Recent, now there we go. Look at that. Oh, it, it's not exact. Try it again. <laughs> that was quick. Uh, view, define initial window location. Actually, why don't we move it just to make sure that something has worked. Uh, sorry, view, define fixed initial window location. There it is down there, supposedly. When we close this and reopen it, that's where it'll be. Boom! 
Look at that. It's our little application cuter than ever. So there you go. I am not going to make you, oh, if you hit start, I'm not going to make you wait around 30 seconds, another 30 seconds, but I am going to say that when start, when we push start, that should get rid of that. There we go. So I'm sure we could find a better way to do it. Anyway, have a fun with this and patch well. I will see you in the next video tutorial. Thanks for watching.